Hi, this is Alexis from Pear Tree Education. I'm one of the writers on the website inquiryintoeducation.com. This week, I'm doing a follow-up to the video I did last week. This is a teacher guide video with activities to do for the book 10,000 Dresses. 10,000 Dresses is written by Marcus Ewart and illustrated by Rex Ray. It was published in 2008 by Seven Stories Press. This picture book is about a child named Bailey who is biologically a boy but identifies as a girl. Bailey struggles with the fact that her parents don't support her in this. This book's an excellent resource to use for the critical inquiry into issues around gender, such as gender roles, gender stereotypes, and recognizing dominant social constructions around gender. One activity to do with the book would be to simply read the book and to have a critical discussion around it. As a teacher, you would facilitate the discussion by asking critical questions, such as, why would a book like this be written? Who is this book intended for? And whose perspective is being told in the book? The book could also be used for students to consider how socially constructed norms function. That is, we are essentially trained by society to either behave or to act a certain way to play out our gender. You can point out to your class that you were not born liking the color blue as a boy or wanting to have long hair as a girl, but that the world around us influences us into thinking or acting a certain way. There is nothing necessarily wrong with these influences, but it's important for children to recognize how they're being socialized. And it would be a great activity to do or a discussion to have on Pink Day or Anti-Bullying Day, where children are really encouraged to embrace difference. A different activity you would do with this book is an OWI chart. OWI stands for Observe, Wonder, and Infer. This would give you a quick snapshot of whether or not your students have strongly developed ideas of gender. Prior to reading the book, or even discussing what the book's about, provide the students with an OWI sheet. The sheet should have a picture on it from the book, perhaps the front cover, and three columns underneath the picture. Explain to them that they should write down things they observe in the O column. That is, only things that they can observe and know for sure to be true facts. In the wonder column, have the students write down some questions they have about the picture, or some things that they perhaps find confusing. Finally, in the infer column, have students write down inferences they make about the picture. Things that they aren't sure about, but things that they can make a logical, educated assumption about. From their questions and inferences, you can facilitate a critical discussion accordingly. Another idea would be to do the activity called writing on the wall. The idea behind this activity is for students to consider different points of view and to recognize that these points of view and ideas behind gender aren't as simple as black and white. It's too easy to label Bailey's parents as being bad for not supporting her interest in dresses, but why do they think this isn't appropriate for a boy? So for writings on the wall, create two big silhouettes of people on chart paper and explain to the students that one silhouette is meant to represent Bailey and the other is meant to represent one of her parents. As you reread the story, you'd like them to come up and write down emotions on the silhouette that you think those particular characters might be feeling. And this encourages your students to consider different perspectives and to think about why or how we've been socialized into thinking what we do about gender. So again, 10,000 Dresses is a great picture book resource to use for critical inquiry around topics about gender. And I would especially recommend using it on days such as Pink Day or Anti-Bullying Day when children are encouraged to embrace change and difference. And if you've enjoyed this teacher guide video, you may be interested in watching my book review video about 10,000 Dresses. Please also look at our website, www.inquiryintoeducation.com for additional activities, resources, and handouts, including the OWI chart. This is Alexis from inquiryintoeducation.com. And if you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe.